What's up everybody? Welcome back to Mike's Tool Shed. It is springtime. It actually fucking feels like springtime. I got a little bit of a sweat. Um, and I came out to the shed and I, I got real motivated and I started, despite the array of bullshit all over the, the, the bench, um, I actually got motivated to clean the shed out and it is clean. I mean cleaner. It's stage one. Stage one clean. Um, the motorcycle and the scooter have been relocated um, to a different wing of the shed, if you will. Um, the shed has a secret. The, uh, there's a, there's a other wing to the shed. Here, I'll show you. That's a uh, Rudog, the cat, Rudy. <laughs> this is the other wing. So this is the whole shed right here. So that's the shed, really. And that's only a small portion of this building. This building, um, this is the place where I store the bikes. <laughs> this is, I got foosball table. Black Friday special, treadmill, old couches. Um, yeah, this is where we put all our shit that we don't use anymore. Uh, when me and my wife got this house, we thought this place was awesome. A cool little hangout area, and we never use it. She uses it for working out, though. She puts her DVDs in there and then plays them on that, and then gets all sweaty. We got an uh, air conditioner over there. Have some friends crash here occasionally, but I was like, screw it. Nobody uses this, so I'm putting the bikes in there. Yeah, my yard is garbage. There's my fire pit. So, back to the shed. It is relatively clean. It's a, it's a start. Let's call it that. It's a start. I can't do it all in one day. That would be kind of overwhelming. So, I needed to move the bikes out of the way because I needed a room for activities. I needed more space. And um, I went to Harbor Freight today. And uh, I really hope this is going to be the last Harbor Freight tool haul. <laughs> because I said that the last time. Um... My attitude to World Harbor Freight has completely changed since the beginning of this channel. Um, I thought it was like the greatest thing in the world in the beginning, and I feel like I bought just about everything that's worth a shit there. But, I had an idea. In the middle of the night, I woke up, popped up out of bed, and I'm like, I must build this. This is a great idea. So, because I have the shed, I don't have a garage. So if I want to work on my cars, I've got to load up whatever I need from this, and put it in this little cart and then take it all the way up to the front in the driveway and work on stuff. So, I got this here. This piece of shit, US General, uh, 26 inch, one drawer black tool cart. Pretty simple, that's a good picture right there. It's got two little shelves on the bottom, but it's got those little dinky casters that are never gonna make it all the way up through there. So, I got some 10 inch casters. I got four 10 inch swivel casters. There's the other three here, and I went to Home Depot also. I got this uh, three inch angle, just one piece. It's, uh, I think it's like six foot. And then I got this uh, four inch flat bar. And at Harbor Freight, I got this bur burger, 35 pound welding thingy, magnet thing. And then I got these two. These are coming handy. This is only like three or four bucks. Um, at Home Depot, I got some extra discs, grinding, a little variety pack here. Um, the ones, the ones that I had, I pretty much wore out everything that I had. So, that is the project. Oh yeah, and it's going to require the use of other Harbor Freight equipment. The Burn Your Shed Down 5000, um, the um, Don't Go Blind 5000, and I'm going to do it. I'm going to try to figure out a way to get this monster caster on to that tool cart. Now, obviously, there's gonna be some challenges. Um, it's gonna significantly raise the center of gravity. I believe um, in stock form, the thing is like six inches off the ground. This is gonna be 12 inches from base to the tire. So, there's two, two ways I guess I could go about that. Um, now, really only one way is it is widen the thing, widen the wheelbase, widen the footprint, you know, so it's not as top heavy. Because I'm going to put, I don't know, 100 pounds of tools in there, maybe throw an alternator on there, whatever. Whatever I need to move from the shed to the driveway is going to go on the cart. So it's not going to be a permanent thing. It's not, it's not going to really keep tools in it. It is just going to be um, to move tools from the shed to the driveway. Uh, when we got this house... I, I, but when we were house shopping, I said, I told my wife, I don't care about anything. Get just a garage. A good size garage, let me okay the garage, 
and I don't, I really don't care what the rest of the house looks like. As long as it's got like a bedroom, living room, kitchen, you know, the usual. I don't care. I'm not particular about anything. I need a garage. Um, this house, though, I really, really liked, even though it didn't have a garage. And uh, I'm paying the price now, so now i got to build this stupid off-road uh, tool cart. So I was, it was between the 8 or the 10 inch when I was in, uh, <laughs> when I was in Harbor Freight and there was getting some like eyeballs from the old guys in there like I'm taking this caster over to the, the display cart lining it up taking measurements and stuff and they're looking at me like I'm a freaking idiot uh, and I kind of am but I'm gonna make this happen I I needed a reason to use the welder and I feel like feel like this is perfect um, I'm not buying a nice expensive tool cart you know the thing was only a hundred bucks so I'm not gonna feel bad about hacking it up cutting on it, sanding on it, welding on it, you know, so it's just kind of, um, just something to keep me occupied and something that'll be really useful when I'm done with it, so, I got that, I got, yeah, I got the magnet things, so, this is going to be my first foray into the world of welding, um, I've welded a couple things in the past, but I, I, I would not say that I know how to weld, that's not a phrase that would ever come out of my mouth, um, I have a welder, I would say that, but not. I know how to weld, so I'm gonna be learning uh, learning how to weld with this project. Um, shit, the material for this thing costs more than the cart itself. I think between the casters, the steel, um, these accessories, and the grinding stuff, I think I'm about double the price of the cart in what it's gonna take to transform the cart into an off-road cart. So, like I said, when I was in there, I was looking at eight eight inch, even the six inch ones. But it's got four inch on it. Um, I went back and forth. Okay, is, is the eight inch going to sink into the, you know, the, the, the yard is moist. Is it going to sink? And I was really like trying to logistically debate it in my head. And then I just said, fuck it, America. America, biggest ones they got. They're going on there. <laughs> and I figured I can't lose. It's going to make the footprint a lot bigger with the bigger casters. But um, I can't lose. This is going to roll over over the yard even after a good rain. So I don't know. It's just going to be something fun to do. Something to, you know, something to occupy myself. And it'll be functional when I'm done. So I don't know what kind of... what I don't know what the hell this is going to look like. I have no plan. I, I, I'd like to um, say, like, this is the base... This is the bottom base of the cart. I'd like to maybe make perches, like a perch. So the, the caster, so the so the caster's not just underneath the thing. Um, the the level of the bottom may be down here, but I'll make a little perch. Can you see that? Yeah, a little perch like that. So it's not going to completely raise the center of gravity, but I'm going to have to make it have a bigger footprint at the end of the day. So that's it. That's what's been going on. Um, sorry, I haven't been making videos. I just, it's just, the weather's been, the weather's sucked, and to be totally honest, I felt kind of overwhelmed. I, I, I felt like I tried to completely reinvent this channel in one fail swoop, and um, that got kind of overwhelming. I tried to play with the editing software, and uh, it's, it's a lot to learn, and maybe I should start with a simpler version before I get into this more technical one, but... Um, you know, I'm just doing, the only difference about this video is the new camera. This is still the new camera, so I'm not going to try to reinvent the wheel overnight. I'm going to slowly phase in the, uh, you know, the extras or the, the, in, the enhancements to the channel. So that's it. That is what I've got going on now. Um, this will be the next project. i got some other projects here. I'll show you one. I'll show you another one. i got like a minute left before I hit 10, so I might as well. <laughs> Might as well stretch it out. These are two potential projects right here. Um, I acquired this boat for free, and it's in pretty bad shape. Um, it's a 12-foot John boat, maybe 14. I'm not even sure, but it needs some work. But it is—it's got a good skeleton. You know, I can bang out stuff like this. I can straighten that up, redo the transom, put some seats on it, clean it all up. It's got holes. Fill the holes in. You know, something I wanted to do, and I can just kind of putt around out there. I'm probably not going to register it. Maybe I'll just cruise around out there. And then this, I don't know. I may burn this. It's been out outside for a little bit. It's still in good shape, though. 
big ass spool. I wanted to make that. A big thing in Maryland is eating crabs, getting together, getting some getting some beers and eating some crabs. And I wanted to like stylize this into a crab eating table. I have a lot of ideas for it. I'm gonna wrap rope around the top of it, and I'd like to gunpowder burn a uh, you know a crab image on the top or something cool like that. Um, I'd actually like I'm actually gonna kind of laminate that with plywood, have a nicer look to it than the than all the hardware and stuff, and then and then cut this out, and that's where you can push all your shells and all your you know refuse from eating the crabs. Um, Rudy likes the boat. He's ready. He's ready. Whoa, it's wobbling on him. Uh, he's ready to go out. He's ready to go hit the bay. So <laughs> that's that's it. That's what's been going on. And um, I'm gonna go build the Harbor Freight tool cart right now. I'm gonna put the stock wheels on it for now, and then start trying to mock up mock up how the fuck I'm gonna attach those giant casters. It's gonna look like a freaking Frankenstein monstrosity, but uh, it's gonna be functional. So that's all that matters. I'm not. I'm all. I'm all function over form. Screw that. Uh, form over function now some people have the talent to do both i do not so that is it that is what's been going on and thanks for watching